Advertising on Facebook and Instagram can be quite overwhelming at first, especially when you start to factor in all the things that you need to set up and connect to manage all of these assets inside of your business manager. So in this video, we are going to walk through a complete overview of all the things that you need to have set up inside of business manager to get started running your ads on Facebook and Instagram. Now, before we dig into this, if you want to learn how to market your music more effectively, join the Monday Marketer. The Monday Marketer is a weekly email that I send out every Monday morning with one actionable music marketing tip to help you grow as an artist. So if you want to join the Monday Marketer, go to TomDupreeTheThird.com and drop in your email. So let's talk about Business Manager. This is going to be a complete overview of the things that you need to set up to get started with Business Manager. And we're going to take a look at campaign types and the ones you're most likely to be using as an artist marketing your music and trying to grow your audience. So we're gonna get started first inside of Business Manager's settings menu. So here from my ad manager, I'm gonna to go to the bottom left and go to the gear icon to go to business settings. Now, the first place we're gonna start is in the users dropdown here, and we're gonna start under people. Now you wanna make sure that you are added and that you are a business admin for this business manager. Now, if you've created this account, odds are this is already the case, so you don't need to update anything here. After that, we're gonna go down to accounts. We're gonna fold up users. Now here we wanna to go to pages. So you need to make sure you have a business page and you need to make sure that it is the primary business page for your business manager. So as you can see, my page is Tom Dupree III and it is listed as my primary business page. Now, after that, we're gonna to come to ad accounts. Now, as you can see, my ad account is called Tom Dupree III and this is the ad account I use. It is the primary ad account for this business manager and it is what I use to advertise for growth on Instagram, growth on Spotify, or anything else I wanna do. From there, we're gonna to come to Instagram accounts. Now, you wanna have a business Instagram account, not a personal one. So if you need to make that change, you can go to your settings in Instagram, switch it to a business account, and then you wanna connect it here. After that, we'll come down to data sources. Now, we're gonna to go to pixels. So you really only need one pixel to run your ads. Now, this pixel, Tom Dupree the Third's pixel, is the primary pixel that I use, and it is the one that I use for all of my advertising. As you can see, I've created a few other ones, but none of these are in use. From there, we're going to come down to business creative folders. Now, this is an optional thing that you can do. I like to do this because it helps me keep my advertising assets organized. So you can create a business creative folder, and this is where you're going to upload all of your media, your images, your videos that you're going to use in your ads. Again, this is purely optional, but for me, it's an extra step that I like to use to keep me organized. Now, after that, we're going to come down to brand safety and we're going to go to domains. Now, again, this is an optional thing that you can do, but I highly recommend doing this, adding your own domain and verifying it with your domain provider and with Facebook here will allow you to open up some additional options when it comes to conversion ads. They have quietly updated this where you don't have to have your own domain anymore and you can still use conversion ads. For a time, you had to have your own domain to use conversion ads. Even still, I highly recommend getting your own artist domain and connecting it here so that you can verify it with Facebook. So those are all of the things you need to add here inside of Business Manager. So once you've added all these things, let's talk about giving yourself access to these things so that you can use them. So back up at the People tab here, you can see that I have given myself access to my page, my Instagram account, my ad account, my Pixel, and there are also some interconnections that we need to set up too. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to my name under the People tab, and I'm going to go to Add Assets here so that I can make sure I have access to all the things I need to have access to. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure I select either new or classic pages experience. My page is a new page experience. So I'm going to select my page and then I'm going to give myself full Facebook access and full control of this page. Then I'm going to go to Add Accounts. I'm going to select my ad account, give myself full control of that. After that, I'm going to come down to Pixels select my pixel, give myself full control. And then lastly, Instagram accounts. I'm gonna select my account and toggle on all of these switches so that I make sure I have access to that as well. From there, I'll click save. Now, once you've given yourself access to everything, we're gonna come down to accounts and we're gonna to come to Instagram accounts. And here we're going to uh, select add assets at the top. We wanna to make sure our Instagram account is connected to our ad account. So I'm gonna select my ad account and select add. After that, I'm gonna come down to data sources and I'm gonna select my pixel. Again, we wanna select our pixel and go to add assets. Here, I wanna make sure my pixel is connected to my ad account as well. So I'll select my ad account and select add. And then lastly, we wanna come down to brand safety, go to domains, select your domain, 
and I'm gonna go to Add Assets once again, and I'm gonna select my page and then I'll click add. So now this has set up all of the base level things that you need to advertise using your business manager. You've given yourself access to all the stuff you need access to, and you have now connected all of the things that need to be connected so that everything will work properly. So now that we've set all the stuff up here in settings, let's take a brief look at our campaign options and talk about the campaigns you're most likely to use and how they work. So here in the ads manager, we're going to take a look at three different campaigns that you are the most likely to use when you are marketing your music on Spotify or trying to grow your Instagram account or anything else that you might want to accomplish when it comes to building your audience. So we're going to go to the top left and go to the green create button. Now there are six campaign objectives that we can choose from here. The three we are going to use are the top three. So the first campaign type is awareness. This campaign type is really for spreading awareness, exactly what it's called. It's trying to reach the maximum number of people. Now, this is a good way to import a bunch of data into your account so that you can get a better understanding of who's responding to your advertising and who's responding to your content. And it allows you to teach Meta's advertising platform who is responding so that the AI that it uses can do a better job of finding more people who are going to engage with your content. Now an awareness campaign can do things like just extend your reach, do a brand awareness campaign, which is optimizing for people who will remember your ad. And then you can use video views. So this is a great way to drive a lot of views on a video in a short window of time. And you can use that information to retarget people who've watched it or just gather data about your audience. Now the second campaign type is traffic. Now this is sort of the base level a uh, campaign that you're gonna use to send people off site somewhere else. So if you wanna send somebody to Spotify, this is where you're gonna start sending that traffic. This is also a great campaign type to use if you want to use Meta's uh, ads manager here and uh, use that to grow your Instagram account. So you can use a traffic campaign to just flip the user over to your Instagram profile from your content so that they can follow you and uh, see stuff from you in the future. And then after that, you're gonna move on to your third campaign type if you want to take a more global approach. And that campaign type is engagement. And most specifically, you're going to use conversions. So conversions is what allows you to use your Facebook pixel that you set up. You place that pixel on a website or a landing page, and that pixel will send data back to Meta when something happens that you want to happen. So for example, if you want somebody to click a specific button on your landing page, when they do that, your pixel sends data back to Facebook and tells it that the user has done the thing we wanted them to do, so your ad is a success. So you want to sort of build up from awareness to traffic and ultimately to conversions. And it's important that you do them in that order so that you kind of get a better understanding of what works and you increase in complexity over time and you do things according to Meta's system so that your your account doesn't get flagged and restricted, and then that's a whole mess that you really don't want to get into. So this is a step one beginner's guide overview of how to get set up with advertising on Facebook and Instagram. Now, obviously, this has been a bit of a flyby. I went through a lot of stuff very quickly. So if you want a deep dive on any of these particulars, definitely let me know in the comments and we can do some follow-up videos in this sort of beginner set. If you wanna learn more about how to do this in very rigorous detail and in conjunction with how to grow yourself as an artist on Spotify, you can check out my course, The Spotify Artist Accelerator. It will take you from setting up all of your account information inside of Business Manager to warming up your ad account to ultimately getting to conversion ads. And I'll leave a link to that in the description of this video. And then lastly, before I let you go, if you don't subscribe to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And at the end here, I've got a couple more videos you can check out. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.